Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan of Masterful Engineer Training. So in today's how-to video, really, it's really aimed at new engineers, but however, experienced engineers can benefit too. So if you go to my website, which is www.masterfulengineer.co.uk and click on the Accelerate Trainings tab, you'll find out more about what I do there. So also, if you've not subscribed to our channel, so subscribe to, to the channel would be great. Also give us a thumbs up if you like the video and hopefully you're going to learn a lot today. So enjoy the show. Hi guys, on today's video we're looking at Unreal Old Boiler and it's a Positum Prima B. So this is a balanced flu standard efficiency boiler probably about 20 odd years old so the problem on today's boiler is that the pipe light is not staying on so that's what we're going to look at so to get access to this boiler this grey panel here underneath you've got this little flap here you pull that down and then there's normally a screw here but there's not one and then this thing then just pulls off that's the bottom panel there just pulled off so what we're going to look at now this is the overheat thermostat now if that was popped out that would stop the pilot light lighting because it's like an interrupter so now we're going to look at the gas valve so this is a gas valve here now this gas valve it's a sit gas valve now it's like a free position gas valve as well so you've got this button well dot there that's the off this is to light the pilot and that other one there is for the main burner so what you it's already in the position what we need because we can push it in like that now if it was in the like main burner position you would turn it like that and then if it was in the off position you would turn it like that so they're like kind of the three positions. So we're going to put it back to this one to like the pilot and then above it here, just there, that's the piece of igniter. So we're going to push that in and then spark the igniter at the same time. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull that in, do the igniter like that and then hopefully should light but it's not what I'm going to do now is get inside the boiler so to get inside the boiler we've got a screw here and one on the other side just there remove them screws and then this panel will come off and then ducts they'll come off as well you can see we've took the panel off now now you can see the pilot burner, the thermocouple. So I'm just going to do the spark piezo. It's difficult for you to see, but there's a spark there going across. You can see the part light lit. We just lit it with a match, and you can see the part light is not big enough, and it's barely burning on the thermocouple. So that's the problem. So what that looks like to me is a partially blocked pilot jet. So we're going to have to undo this nut here, take out the jet, give it a clean, and then reassemble it and see how that works. Also, if I can mention, I'm going to just let you listen to the pilot going off, well, the thermal electric valve clicking off because we've blown the pilot light out. So just watch this. So if you listen carefully, you just blow the pilot light out. And you should hear a click come from the gas valve. There you go. So that's the thermal electric valve springing back because, as I said, blown out the pilot light. And that's now basically stopped the voltage. It's a little voltage going down the thermocouple into the back of the gas valve. And then 
de-energizing the thermoelectric valve. So that's your flame failure device. On this what we're going to do first is remove this nut because we want the spark electrode out of the way so we can get access to this nut on the, the pilot. As you can see I've removed the pilot, sorry the um, spark electrode from here. Now I've removed the nut here from the pilot burner. This thread here, what we're going to do later on, we're going to put some gas paste because what can happen that gas can escape from this area here and then it'll diminish the flame and stop it burning fully onto the thermocouple. So that's why you should always put gas paste on here. Also, this thermocouple is the wrong one. This thermocouple is a universal one. You can see how long it is. Far too long really for this type of pilot burner. So the correct thermocouple is here. This is it here, it's got one out of the van, so we're going to be fitting this one, you can see it's a lot shorter. Also, see this thread here, look closer, now that's got a, like a coarser thread. So on the Honeywell, it's more of a finer thread, because they're not interchangeable and they won't fit each other, because of the thread differences. Now this is the previous thermocouple, what we just spoke about. So it's on the gas valve there, so we're going to undo it on that nut and then completely remove it from the boiler. Now there's having a go now. Yeah, it's in an awkward position, but... Got it now. When we fit in the new thermocouple into the gas valve, you've got to be very careful. It's all this miles from there. Yep. Right, this bit here, that's the interrupter. See it moving about? So that's got to be like that, fully home like that, because the thermocouple screws onto it. You can see that white bit down that thread. You gotta make sure that's like that. Otherwise, if it's off like this, out like that, it won't work. You won't get the, um, Firm electric valve working, right. so it's going to go in like this. Using a 9mm spanner, then you can start tightening up that nut. Now we're going to switch gears back to the pilot burner. What we're going to do now is remove these two screws. So that's a pilot jet there actually. That's the jet what just fell. So this is our jet here. And then we'll clean it out. The jet looks good now. You can just about see it. There you can. There it is there. Nice hole. You can see our paste. Bit generous, but at least it won't leak any gas. Now I've lodged the pilot burner up here like you can see and undone one of these screws just to give me a bit of flexibility so I could get the pilot burner up there and now I'm going to get the jet and stick it there like that because it's got to go through that gap there like that and then this is the trick a bit trying to manoeuvre that onto there. So I'm going to pull it out there like that. It's sat on it, I think. That's it, it's gone in. And now I'm getting this on my fingers. And just screw that in. I'll use a spanner now. Just using the spanner. You can see that 
this will seal up any gas escape from this area. I'm now trying to get the screws in now. I'm not tight that nut up just yet because it gives me a bit of flexibility to line up these screws here. Put a bit of pressure on it to keep it in line. Now we're going to put the flame thermocouple in. So we're going to have to. Get that nut through the hole as well, a bit awkward. You have to kind of bend it to go in and then That's now going in, just tighten that up so you can see how it fits a lot better having the right thermocouple, a sit thermocouple like this and then that looks a lot more prettier. Just putting an electrode in now, that's it. And finally what we have to do to put this seal in is grommet down here. Kind of trying to manoeuvre it between the boiler casing. So for the moment of truth, I got it here on my spark position. Push that in, piezo, and let's see if it lights. Yeah, it's lit. You probably can't see that because of the light, but it's definitely lit. Yeah, you can see that flame a lot bigger now. Than it was before, it lit first time. So, we've done it. All we need to do now is turn this to the right position like this. So it's to the burner position. And then we can turn on the power. Turn on the timer, let's get something on. And the burner is lit. That's the main burner there, come on, you can see it there. Beautiful. So that's job done. Excellent, Miles. Excellent indeed. Yes, well done. So that's it. Great little video for you guys, especially new engineers. So this is, yeah. I'm very proud of this video. We've come to um, deal with a customer's problem. They're going to be happy. Everyone's happy. So that's it from me and Miles. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.